Reverend uh, Changa, uh, Secretary General, Acting Secretary General of NDC, the National Chairperson for Mobilization. Let me say that uh, the issue I am going to tackle this morning is one issue that Reverend has been talking to me about and uh, wanted to see that the issues surrounding this same issue are resolved uh, amicably. So Reverend, welcome. And, uh, one of the people that I should uh, also uh, recognize pertaining to this statement is the late Father Chilinda. May he so rest in peace. What I am going to say today is what Father Chilinda wanted to see me do as I am going to explain in this statement. Let me start by saying that I am a Christian like many of the Zambians who believe in truthful reconciliation and forgiveness. During my self-imposed political hibernation, I have reflected on a number of issues that I thought I should address today. Among them, I could have stepped on many people's toes unknowingly and injured them. I unreservedly apologize to you all. Also, wish to specifically single out one press briefing I held where I questioned the association of our head of state, His Excellency President Edgar Chagalungu and Mr. Vauden Finley. Members of the press, as many of you may be aware, our offices as politicians are viewed as voices of the people and a lot of information verified and, and verified is passed on to us. In about August, September 2019, my office was bombarded with unsolicited complaints and at that time, I thought it was only right that I bring this information to the public. I have, however, realized that I should have cared enough to engage the people involved or even to take time to verify the raw information that came to my attention in the line of my political duty as an opposition leader. Having said this, I want to unreservedly, I repeat, having said this, I want to unreservedly apologize to the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, for the misunderstanding that he is a drug dealer as insinuated by some section of the media then. I shall also be quick to mention that at no time did I verify the information I was given regarding Mr. Vauden Finde, who I also unreservedly apologize to. In October 2020, I tendered an apology to the head of state, and I think it is my duty to once more clear this matter, which in my view has created a lot of tension among us, the involved persons. It is only right that we flip a new page as a sign of brotherly love and genuine reconciliation. Further, let me tender my apology to the immediate families of His Excellency the President, Mr. Edgar Chagalungu, and Mr. Vauden Findlay, who could have been directly or indirectly affected by my statement. Ordinarily, I should have quietly approached the aggrieved persons privately. But because the matter has been in public domain, I thought it is only right that I use the same medium I used then to share this information. 
My prayer is that His Excellency Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu and Mr. Vauden Findlay find it in their hearts to forgive me. I am however reminded by a Zambian singer Ephraim song and that to error is human but to forgive is divine. I am reservedly apologize to you, Your Excellency the President, and to you, my brother, Mr. Vauden Findlay, for the statement issued then. I tender this my apology without any prejudice or malice. In conclusion, let me inform the general membership of the NDC and the nation at large that at an appropriate time, they will be told the NDC's next political direction after the failed alliance with the NDC. In the meantime, the disciplinary committee handling the cases for the suspended officials will be sitting tomorrow to decide their fate. Countrymen and women, I want to thank you. Thank you very much. I will ask the, the Reverend to close for us in prayer. Brothers and sisters, let us bow down in prayer. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name, they shall humble themselves and seek the guidance of God. It when God shall hear in heaven and heal their land. God, we come before you because you are the maker, the creator, and the sustainer, and the redeemer of our life. Father, today, almighty God, we have come to witness the forgiveness which your son is honorable, Chishimakamwiri. He have asked almighty God to his excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Dr. Edika Chagwalungu, and oh God, to Mr. Findre, to whatever Lord, he almighty God, he made a mistake. Any statement which he made, he have come before you, God, and before the public, and before your throne of grace, to say, Lord, be a Christian nation. We are there to reconcile one another, and we are there to forgive one another. Your son, I bow down before you. Lord, wash almighty God all the sin of your son. And Lord, let your son find a room in your heart. And let your son, Honorable Chishimakam, will find a room in the heart of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Chabalung, and Mr. Pindre Almighty. Father, we know that, Lord, this forgiveness, it will almighty God build your nation, and it will build, oh God, confidence, Lord, in your people. Father, we pray and ask you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, today and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hey, my media, this is your time. Do your best of your record which you have done. Um, asking to, to the nation, we have heard about uh, Honorable Cheshimba Kambiri. He have come in open to ask forgiveness to His Excellency. And uh, it is His Excellency who came in Himself by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to say we shall have a day of prayer and the reconciliation. And it's what we have seen, uh, Honorable Kambui, you have done it. It means that we are building this nation as Christians. And it's my prayer to all the nation to forgive <coughs> Mr. Kambui, even the party, the Patriotic Front, to also to forgive um, 
Honorable Kambuiri. Thank you very much. May God bless you.